guys welcome back to my channel of course i'm here with the cutest boy in the whole wide world mr ongata yeah so i'm actually very very sad to say that we did not get a single peach this year i don't know i don't treat any of the fruits and vegetables so sometimes we get them sometimes we don't ongata's reaching up because we did get some figs come here let's find a let's find a good fig okay you ready I gotta come over here because I think I see a really good one. Oh, there's so many, so many things in the way. Okay, let's see, where was that fig? Right here, there's a good one, maybe. Long God, I see it? Yeah, yeah, I get it. Is it a good one? <laughs> the right one is warm from the sun and it literally tastes like jelly. It is so sweet, it is so delicious. What do you think, is that good? You eating it all up? Yeah. I'm so glad he likes figs, I love figs. What, what else should we do with the figs? A lot of the time this tree produces so many figs that um, I pick them and I just go door to door and offer them to everybody. So I had the ladder over here because this fig tree produced first. Now, you guys have asked me questions about this, and it's actually really complicated, but I think this is a male fig tree. The reason I think this is a male fig tree is because it does not produce as much figs. And the other tree, I actually had for 15 years, and it never flowered and it never produced a single fig. When I planted this one five years ago, that one exploded with more figs than I could possibly ever eat. So this one could be, because it is producing fruit, it could be co-sexual, which means it has male and female parts. And that just means that the pollinators can just pollinate this tree and this tree will produce fruit on its own. That one over there is not. I know that because it never produced anything. So I'm guessing that's a female tree. I hope that helps. <laughs> but it is actually really, really complicated. And the same thing happened with my peach tree. This peach tree right here did indeed flower, but it never produced any peaches. So I wasn't sure how to tell if it was a male or female. There's a fire ant mound at your feet. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Saved your life. <laughs> um, <laughs> So this one flowered, but it never produced anything. So basically the males produce flowers that pollinate the females. Because I wanted peaches so bad, I waited until the store had peaches on the tree. That way I hoped it was either male and female or entirely female. So once I planted that, then I had a bunch of peaches, but we didn't get any this year. I don't know if it was too hot. I don't know if there was too many bugs. I have no idea what happened, but hopefully next year. But anyway, it does look like we got a lot of figs. Ooh, those ones look good. So I made another huge mistake and this fig tree got too big. I couldn't reach the figs. So I cut the fig tree down and it didn't produce for years. So don't make the same mistake I did. Google it, make sure that you cut it at the right time. Okay, come here. You're gonna go on my back. You're gonna help us get some figs. Are you ready? Oh, he's ready. He's ready. Yeah, that one looks like a good one. Hey Jack, have you ever had a fig? I have. Oh, you have, nice. Yeah, they're so, great. I don't actually like the little end part there, so I pull that off. And the outside is almost peachy, where it, where it like maybe has little hairs, so it's not as delicious. I cut it in half like that. Mm. Oh my god, it's listen, got one too. Listen, there is nothing as good as a ripe fruit right off the tree. It is warm, it is turned to jelly, it is absolutely amazing. Okay, that is a way you can do it, yep. Attack, the, look at that one. I bet this is the best fig ever. You want some of it, Anga? Want some? That was really good. Whoa, whoa. Okay, I have another story to tell you. I hope you guys can learn from my mistakes. Please be aware of your surroundings. Fig trees have a relationship with wasps. So I was up there picking figs one time. I wasn't paying attention to my surroundings, but guess what? The monkey, I'm gonna call it a monkey. The monkey that was up there with me was paying attention to its surroundings and it saw a wasp's nest and it slapped the wasp nest. I didn't notice that's what was going on. I got stung in the face by the wasps. The monkey was totally fine. Anyway, moral of the story, please, please pay attention to your surroundings. <laughs> Literally not a single sting on them, but my whole face. All right, 
Good story. So what I think we should do, we did it last year. I'm gonna pick a whole bunch of figs and I think I'm gonna make them into popsicles for Angada. You want a fig popsicle? Do you want a fig popsicle? <laughs> I bet you do. I bet you do. Let's go make fig popsicles. All right, so just so that like, you know, Jack didn't have to sit here and stare at me while the popsicles were made. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, while they were frozen. I went ahead and actually made it last night. So what I did was I, I took equal parts fig, equal parts vanilla yogurt, and I put it in this little blender, blended it up, and then threw it in a, in a popsicle mold. Just so, like I said, so that me and Jack didn't have to stare at each other while it was freezing. <laughs> I put it in there last night. <laughs> so I Googled like how to make the popsicles, just, I don't know, just to see. And they said add sugar to it. But the thing is, like, this is sweet. This is really sweet. I don't think you need to add more sugar to it. You do you. I wasn't actually given a lot of sugar as a child. We were like, it had to be a special event, someone's birthday or a holiday. Otherwise, there was like no sugar in the house. If you get away from it long enough, I feel like everything tastes sweeter. Again, just my opinion. Oh, Jack's yeah, Jack shaking his head. Same. Actually, he was raised very similar to me. I was. Um, we could have been brother and sister, <laughs> but we're not. He grew up. Where'd you grow up? In England. In England? Yeah. Oh, okay. So this young lad <laughs> <laughs> actually grew up in England, but somehow I swear we had the same childhood. <laughs> anyway, I think we should just like go get the popsicles and head on out to the dock and see if Angara likes fig popsicles because he liked the figs alone. And he loves yogurt. He eats yogurt every night before he goes to bed, huh? Yeah. Oh, but some good yogurt. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna go out to the dock and have some popsicles. Yeah. What was that walk? Show him that walk again. That was a cool walk. That's my cool boy walk. Cool boy walk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the cool boy walk. <laughs> Sagriva does the cool boy walk sometimes. Did you learn that from Sagriva? Yeah? What do you think? Look, look, they're frozen. They're gonna be delicious. That one's empty. Yeah, that only works when they're a little bit more uh, soft. Are you ready? Let's go, come on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Woo! It's rocking today. Ooh. You ready? Okay, I will admit I tried some last night. Hey Jack, you want one? Yeah, how can I do? I great. would like to just take a minute and acknowledge how willing Jack is to try and participate <laughs> in all the weird things that I do. And you guys too! You guys, thank you so much. Thank you so much for following this journey, watching Angada grow up and become big and strong. Thanks for watching the videos all the way to the end and helping me feed all of these amazing animals. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as we enjoyed making it. If you haven't yet, why not? Subscribe, like, comment, and remember, stay wild.